Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello everyone. My name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a DIY switch based automation system using Nardino. The end goal of this project is for you to automate any appliances in your home. And in this video I'm going to show you how to control this fan and this light bulb I have handy here. And I'm going to control it using my smartphone via Bluetooth. So as a demonstration, I can just press the on button and the light turns on. I can turn it off too. And if I want, I can turn on the fan also. This is just a stepping stone because you can easily make this based on timers or you can even program your appliance to turn on based on the time of the day. So for example, when you get up, you can program your coffee machine to turn on and brew your coffee. The components we'll be using uh, for this project is an Arduino, an NC05 Bluetooth module of two channel, five volt, 10 amps relay. The circuit required for the project looks something like this, where this is the NC05 module and this is the two channel relay. Now I know this circuit seems a little complex, but I'll be explaining you step by step. The circuit diagram can be found in the link given in the description below. So there are six connections coming out of the Arduino Uno. These two, this is the 5 volt and this is the ground. This is what you'll be using to power the SC05 module and the relay. The other two connections are connection number 9 and 10. And this is what you're going to be using for the UART communication between the Arduino and the SC05 module. Port number 4 and port number 5 is what is used to control the Relay 1, the Relay 1 and the Relay 2. The HC05 module has four primary connections. The orange cable is the VCC and the white cable here goes to ground. The other two connections are the RX and the TX which is used to communicate between the Arduino via UART communication. So the TX is from port number 10 to the TX connection directly on the HC05 module. The RX connection, however, is going through a voltage divider circuit. The reason being the HC05 module operates at a 3.3 voltage. And so we make a small little voltage divider circuit in order to supply the, the right amount of voltage. Otherwise, the module tends to malfunction. So for that, we take the port from port 11 all the way here goes through a 1.1k in total resistance so this is a 100 ohm resistor and this is a 1k resistor and at the end of the 1.1k resistor it goes to the rx port of the hc05 module then there's a 3.3k resistor and then the end of the 3.3k resistor is connected to the ground pin of the breadboard this is how the basic uh, circuit diagram looks like. Now coming on to these green wires, these are the wires that goes to the appliances. So you can follow this particular diagram that I put up on the screen right now to see how the exact connections work between the relay and the appliance. Basically you're adding a switch between the, the AC output from the wall plug and the appliance itself. And this relay is what we are going to be controlling from our phone to control your appliance. The code required for the entire automation system is given in a blog post linked below and there's a step-by-step -step explanation of what each part of the code does. The configuration required on your phone is also quite simple. Take out your phone, download this app called Bluetooth Terminal HC05. The link is given in the description below. Open it and you'll be presented with a screen where it shows all the available Bluetooth devices on your surroundings. The name of the particular Bluetooth device that I'm trying to connect to, the Arduino, is called the NC05. So I click on NC05 and it indicates here whether it's connected. On the top right corner, you can see that it's on the top left corner, you can see that it's connected to NC05. And now your phone is successfully connected to the automation module. The ASCII commands required to turn on the LED and the fan is on one for LED and on two for fan. Off one for LED and off two for fan. So in the app, 
there is a convenient button function where you can program each button to the particular function that you'd like. So for the command, I write, I wrote on one. And the button name, I gave it as LED on. Similarly, I make four buttons like this. The many click LED on, get a pop shift glow on. And I click LED off, LED goes off. And I click on fan, fan starts spinning. And when I click on fan off, the fan turns off. You made yourself a DIY automation system. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and you learned something, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more cool videos, you can subscribe to our channels. So until next time.